Hang on, how are we going? Yes, we are. Up, up. Alrighty, guys. Hello. Let me pull up stream. Oh, that's beer stream. Okay. I'm gonna have to open up Beer's stream in another tab because I'm not losing the stream watch streak. Okay. I think that's just. Okay, so. Okay, yeah, that's working. All right, we're all good. Ready. I'm sorry. Already. We're good. Hmm. Trim cord is clearly not working today. Alrighty, that a single little filler out. Options, video settings. Alrighty, so just to play it. Oh, I know I mentioned that I might not stream tonight, yesterday. Um, all I have to say in my defense is A, the grind is real, and B, my job interview got cancelled out from under me. So, ah. Uh, yeah, not really doing anything else this week at any point in time, so I don't know. I, I don't really feel much of a reason to do anything. I'm not I don't feel much of a need to I don't know what the word is. I'm just tired. And I wanna Hang out and chit chat. Okay, in we go. So I'm just gonna... I honestly don't know what I'm doing tonight. I'm tired. A little 
little sad, a little angry. Also, like, slightly hyped up on, uh, the, uh, QSMP 2023 ending and beginning of 2024. Hmm. Alright, hang on. Where is... Oceans... I have a list of where the oceans are. Okay, we are gonna... I guess we have to go... Down to the bottom. Oh boy. Uh, hang on. Apologies, gamers. I had to say good night to my mother, who I love dearly. Hello, fellow gamers. Hello, patents. Just finished a video that is not safe for public consumption. You started an OnlyFans? Didn't, didn't think that'd be something you would do. A video gaming YouTube video on YouTube. You said it's unfit for public consumption. And nowhere else? Then why did you say it was unsafe for public consumption? Also, when you say, and nowhere else, you just make yourself look kinda... ...pensive. I'm not gonna public it? Alright, fair enough, I guess. I also filmed a video today. It wasn't gaming content, it was me rambling about QSMP for 55 minutes in my living room while my mom and sister were out of the house. No, because it's well known that there's Minecraft videos on adult sites. I see. And you make Minecraft content? It's true, I do make my very suspicious. 
What can I say? I'm just a sussy little guy. All right. Yeah, I just ranted for 50 minutes standing in my living room, and by the end, uh, my vision started getting hazy. And by the end, I mean like in the last 20 minutes. Um, but I kept going. So I'm not that bright. And unfortunately, most of that video is now a moot point. So I've just uploaded it so that I have proof I up that I created the video, the initial, I had the initial idea prior to when it was worth, before my guesses were pretty much handled. Is that the video you're planning? Yes. You see, the thing is, if I had kept editing throughout the afternoon, I would have had it up before it was basically worthless. You said you rambled, but before you said it was scripted... Scripted is a loose term that can be used to define things that are rambles and also things that are not rambles. If you don't believe me, Patent, I will send you the link. It's like I I just uploaded the raw footage and put it behind a, and left it unlisted. If you don't believe me, that you can be both scripted and rambly, I will send you the video. That being said, I feel like this is something you would understand. It was bad. Uh, I think I've learned from that to not stand while doing uh, content that's going to last more than 30 minutes. Um, at least not with the option to sit. You're getting very defensive, which makes me think you didn't make that make a video at all. It's all a sham. Yeah, I'm not even live right now. I I've never even streamed. See, the problem is, that video is also made for people who, like, know, to some degree, what I'm talking about. So, like, I just didn't take much time, like, explaining things. Pre-recorded video with very good guessing as to what I will say. Yes, exactly. Whoa. Yeah, whoa yourself. Again? Yeah, again. It's just going to keep on happening over and over and over. You're just this predictable, Patent.
I apologize for not being particularly entertaining tonight. I am EP. And also slightly sad. Pretty much, yeah, we're just- we're just vibing, chilling. I'm gonna go to the nether. I'm gonna burrow a little hole like the goddamn, uh, whatever I am. Dwarf. And I'm just gonna bum 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 until, oh yay, I can get the things I want. Hopefully I don't wake up tonight at, like, 3.30 a.m. and then just have to deal with... Ugh, forgot to close the door. Um, long vent? What's a long vent? Oh, me being complaining. I mean, I can cut it short if you want. You oversimplified. No, tunnel. Like an am ah, like an among us. Sus, sus, sus. Are we all sus in the eyes of God? And by sus, I do in fact mean gay. Slash pause. Alright guys, do we want to go mangrove? Oh, dark oak is actually much further. Looking very sus today, Gecko, as you're wearing red. Oh no, I'm wearing a red shirt. I'm gonna die first. Red is the imposter, can't die. That's not true about imposters. They can they can die, you just gotta throw them out in an airlock. Now imposter can't get killed by some rando in the hallway. Not necessarily dead though. I mean, it's pretty heavily implied. They're aliens. Aliens doesn't mean you can breathe non-oxygen. Right. Ocean. Is there an ocean? Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, when they when uh, the Among Us aliens reveal. It's not like they're... They, it, it's clear that they suffocate, and then all of a sudden it's like, Oh, there's the body flying in space. Because, like, you see them, like, struggle to breathe. This is just your Among Us headcanon. Okay, yeah, it... I don't know if it's ever been specified. Google it, Patent. If you don't believe me. Also, I have a lot of headcanons, thank you very much.
I should have grabbed chicken on my way out. Oh well. Is the rant coming out, or would you like to explain it now in less than four sentences? Like the video, or um, the 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 complaining I was gonna do. You were gonna complain. I meant the video. I mean, I can send you the link if you want it, but you never said you wanted it, so I haven't sent it. Uh, I think what I'm gonna have to do is... Based on the information that we have now... Kinda like... I don't know. Probably not. Is the rant becoming a video or is it not? I don't know! It's uploaded. It's unlisted, but it's uploaded if you want to see it. Of course, there's an ad. I forgot to check how far I need to go. Okay, so I think we're gonna go for just regular ocean. Work. That was so good. That was so good. They seem. Ocean. Uh, so we're going to a warm ocean. Two, four, eight, nine, five by eight. So that is. Nine oh five divided by eight. Video would be in shorter, more consumable form, which is why I was asking. Yeah, and that's the thing. I I don't know if I'm gonna do that it's because. It's a moot point now. Out of ad. Makes sense. I might just edit it uh, edit it together for proof of concept, but again, the problem is you won't understand what's being said because I don't take time to explain things to an uh, to an audience that is unfamiliar. Because uh, it's it's just about QSMP, which requires some knowledge of the lore, and it's. It's it's just it's complicated. Uh, basically, I I did that threw that together, got my dogs their their lunch, played a couple games of hide and go treat with them because they I needed them to be quiet before I had therapy, and then I uh, called about my job interview. Lo and behold, they gave it to somebody else, and had been meaning to talk to me. So, my day's just been... bad. You know, there's 
for you know there's translation in via i've learned there are eggs and people take care of like in diary of a lumpy kid it requires like lore knowledge that you can't just get from gecko rambles about qsmp uh until i make like an actual like powerpoint about it which you know eventually also People took care of eggs in Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I never read that book. It's a series, actually. Yeah, well, I never read any of them. Yeah, push up those noses, those, those, push up those glasses on your nose, patent, you nerd. My sister read the Dork Diary series, which is basically, um, the, the girl version. I could never get into it. I now understand why. I've heard of it. I think I read a few pages one time. Yeah. I could see how it would appeal to girls, but uh, I've never been, never been a girl. I looked like one for a while, but uh, it was a ploy so that people would have a harder time calling me um, misogynistic. Not impossible, just you know, make it a little bit harder for them. Throw them off the rhythm. Where are you going? Uh, to an ocean. We're just taking the less mountainous way. I have the court written down, so I'm making a big tunnel. Okay, have you heard about the spawn about well, have you heard about the spawn rates of oceans in the Nether? Have you heard of Nether fast travel? Every block you cover you go in the Nether is eight blocks in the overworld, so just Avoiding things. I've heard of oceans. Yeah, you look like the type to have heard of oceans. But have you actually even seen one ever? Not necessarily eight blocks. There's mods. Well, yeah, but I don't use mods. This is vanilla hardcore.
We should wait. Yes, I have been to several oceans, actually. Okay, well that sounds like a personal problem. Have you heard of oceans? Yes, I've heard of oceans. I've seen two oceans, actually. Ooh, a mesa. Have you been in any oceans? Yes, in two oceans. Thank you very much. Pacific and Atlantic, if you must know. I'm sure it wasn't the same ocean. No, I'm pretty sure. It was like, uh, at one ocean, we went to, we were on one side of the country, and then on the other, we flew to the other side of the country, and then to Hawaii, which is just Pacific Ocean. Are you sure that all the oceans you've been in aren't just the same ocean patent? Disregarding political reasons, what's your, what is your least favorite state that you are familiar with? Uh, so, I'm going to do a state, layer, state tier list and I'm going to put that at the top. Hmm. Well, I could pull an ex absolute epic gamer move and lie and get you to put my favorite at the top. Um, but I won't. I think if we're disregarding politics, um... It's not going to factor in at all. I think if we're not factoring factoring in politics, um, it we're absolutely disregarding politics. I actually specified that. Yes, which is why I'm saying like. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to mentally disregard politics, but the problem is, I've actually quite liked all every state I visited. Like, I like Pennsylvania. I like Delaware. I don't remember if I've been to Jersey or not, but what I saw of Jersey was fine, aside from the rickety bridge. Um, I like Virginia, which is where I'm from. Maryland's actually... Maryland? I'm actually not a huge fan of Maryland. What is this? Why? Um, I think it's the state I've spent the second most amount of time in. And I don't think I've been to any of those states. Eh, fair. 
Um, well, I live on the East Coast, so I'm, I'm a lot closer to those states than you are in the, um, I believe you are in the, um, the Bermuda Triangle. Um, Hmm. Uh, but yeah, I, I'd say... Yeah, I was born in the ocean. What belongs to the sea can always return. It was a very tricky situation. Uh, I think the big re- I, I just- I've spent enough time in Maryland without really- And I just haven't really cared about it. I just never particularly cared. Who was multitasking uh, when you were born on the ocean? You were your mother. I don't like this line of questioning. <laughs> Why? You don't like thinking about childbirth? Do you just hate people who are able to bear children? Why are you asking about my birth? Kind of weird, not gonna lie. Alright, fine. Abby? To be fair, you did say, after saying that you were born at sea and it was a tricky situation, you did send the message multitasking. So, you know, what else was I supposed to assume other than, God damn, it's another jungle. I didn't. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna send you... A screenshot because this is that's when they sent for me. Um, it's it just one of those coincidences, so it's a little funny to me. Look, sometimes things get sent in weird orders. I had uh, that that's all I can say. And like they were close enough together that I just assumed they were about the same scenario. You didn't send the thing that said multitasking? Sent proof? I also sent proof. Opened another portal. I don't need any of this, actually. Actually, I'll take the melon, I guess.
your proof didn't have it either. Okay. There you go. I sent it with, uh, I, I circled it so you can, your proof didn't, yeah, my proof did have it. Alright, anyways, I need to go out on the ocean and find help. Mental help. Tinder, are you editing my screenshots? Don't be silly. Yeah, and let me guess what else. Uh, gaslight, that's a big word. Where'd you learn that? The internet? You know, that, 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 that whole spiel. Does kelp not spawn in warm oceans? Yeah, pudding. Also, Paintant, you should know, I do, like, have my, uh, my, uh, Discord on, um, Do Not Disturb when I stream. 
<laughs> That's actually a lie. I have it on streamer mode, so I don't get I don't get alerts. Circa ninety nine. All right, we got this. So if we find, um, warm ocean ruin. I'm starting to think that perchance seaweed does not go in in warm oceans. I'm gonna need a lot of kelp on aircraft pretty soon. What a great way to welcome new people. Gamers, we may have a bit of a situation. I might be kind of lost. I should probably turn around, see if I can find my way home. Or back to the portal. Anything. Ooh, ruined portal. I'll take that, and those. This warm ocean is very small. I say as I am no longer in an ocean. Finally found the screenshot. It's not doctored. It's not a doctor. Well, I, I would hope not. I didn't know that we were given uh, pictures, uh, medical degrees. That's not the circle I made, Patent. Also, how do you give a screenshot a doctorate? Uh... 
I have a smaller device. Jump scare ad. Oof. Do whatever it takes to be the mistake you can live without. Why would you propose at Disney World? Well, I wouldn't. Don't get political, I'm just saying. I'm not getting political. Though I could absolutely make this political. It's very easy. Because you see, it's actually capitalism. And how we've allowed it to uh, take over everything. Um... And so it's just consumed the minds of people, uh, Disney in particular, because it just has a stranglehold on childhood entertainment. Patent, I feel like you should have learned not to do this by now. I'm that meme of the of, like, the guy shooting a chair and saying, why would so-and-so do this? With the copyright of Mickey Got Mouse going away, do you think we could see Mickey in office anytime soon? The office ended well over a decade ago. In an office, like presidential office. Why would Mickey Mouse go to the to the pres see the president after uh, losing the copyright? That feels like something that would be better served while they had the copyright. Also, I don't think Joe bought- I don't- I just- I just- Why would Mickey Mouse go to the president's office when the Disney lo no longer has copyright over him? In office, as in holding a position in office. Like he gets a desk job? Not he's going to the office. So you're saying Mickey Mouse gets a desk job. I think he's fine. He's probably set for life, if we're being real here. He becomes president? Who becomes president? What was- that was the question? The question was, who becomes president? Well, it really depends on, um handful of factors uh one of the mo one of the weirdly important ones is actually height i have screenshots <laughs> can't be doctor no. well of course not how would a screenshot get a doctorate degree a screenshots don't have money and b uh, how would they learn and participate in class? 
Do we are we about to hit an ocean? Actual ocean? Ocean, please. Screenshots could have money. Explain to me how. What familial wealth would they have? NFTs? Yes, because those are still a thing. That people pay IRL money for. There probably are some people who still do it. Oh my god. Just finding mending. Nope, nothing for me. Not even a gold block. For people who do still. Why? What do they get from it? Help! I was one of the pioneers of NFTs. I actually started a scam, I mean business. Well, you could say anything is a scam if you, if you just think about it enough. Gecko streams are scam viewers get no money. That is true. We were lied to. I never said you would get money, though. I've lied about other things, but not the money. Alright. Is there one with a trident in there? Oh, fuck. It's a child. Oh, nothing. Ah. Emerald. L. Aren't all truths just lies? That's actually not true. But it sounded profound when I said it, so you know. Had to. The only progress I made in that state tier list was putting Pennsylvania in A when I meant to put it in C. Do you want help with the state tier list? Because I could help you out with the East Coast ones. As a certified East Coast boy. I'll take that. And those. Sure. Alright. What kind of help are you looking for? What do you think about California? I said East Coast states patent. Not the dumb states. Is that not? No, that's on the West Coast. It's like the bad place from hit NBC show The Good Place. Not uh, specifically California, but just the West Coast in general. Now, we do have two Carolinas on the East Coast. Okay, how about Washington State? Once again, that is the wrong coast.
I don't think I'm going to find a sniffer egg. Kansas? That is closer. I don't know shit about Kansas, though. No, there's more, actually, so... I was thinking Kentucky might be. You were thinking that California was Kentucky? No, never mind. You know, I'm just trying to help you, Peyton. You could be a little bit more understanding. Louisiana is East Coast. Yes, it is. But it's in that weird spot of the East Coast where, like, it's, like, solidly East Coast, but, like, it's just also, like, if you, t if you look at it, it doesn't really look like it's on the East Coast. Okay, rank the states you do know. Oh, that's hard. Um, hmm. Well, isn't that what we were going for? If I had to rank the states I do, I, I've been to. The states that I know about. Um, I don't know that I would put Virginia, my uh, my old home state, uh, quite necessarily in A tier. I put it more in B tier. It's a it's a solid state to live in. Instead of I, a Canadian, guessing which state you had been to. I thought you were from the, uh, I thought you were from the Bermuda Triangle. Um. Also, how do you enjoy that bagged milk, Canadian? Um. I honestly, Virginia is a solid B tier. Um, it's it's not worth going to vacation, but like, you know, it's got some cool stuff. And if you have family, go see. That's no way to refer to a cow. Okay. Um I would also include on my list um I honestly don't know that I put any states in S tier. Um I have a lot of fond memories in Delaware. There's not a lot to do, but it's also like in a pretty good spot where it's like close to a handful of things. So I would also put that in I put that in like low B, high C. Um Maryland Honestly my least favorite state out of all the states I've been to. And that's not to say it's a bad state. Um I wouldn't even put it in D. It would be a C. I don't know where on the C it would be, but it would be on a, on, on a C tier. Um, hmm. Pennsylvania? It's fine. It 
honestly, a lot of the time that I spent in Pennsylvania was kind of traumatic. So, um, but also, uh, there was chocolate and some really good subs, or technically hoagies. Maryland's like, Maryland looks like it should just give parts of it to nearby states so they can get a little bigger. Try saying that in Baltimore City, Patent. I want to see what would happen. Um... Pennsylvania, I would say... It has a lot of potential. Uh, the one thing that I think would disqualify it would be the fact that um, they do have an, a registry. I've, I've heard that they have a registry of autistic people. I'm not sure it's true or not. If it's a lie, then like, you know, whatever. But if it's true, it's like, geez, that is how you get people fucking murdered. Um, I I would say Pens although Pennsylvania does have Pittsburgh, which is one of the most walkable. You didn't look it up after hearing that. No, I didn't. I should have. It also has Pittsburgh, which is one of the most walkable cities, which is major benefit. Um. So honestly, yeah, I I get in a similar position where if like we're not counting politics. Even counting politics actually is a pretty decent state in my opinion. It do it has Philly though. Okay, and Virginia has Charlottesville. Um, so that's Pennsylvania, Hawaii. Honestly, for the most part, I'm just going to say it. Hawaii is overhyped. It's nice, but it's not that nice. Um, people should stop treating it as a tourist destination as much. Let, let the people live there. Um... Make it, make it do, let it be something other than just a tourist trap. Um. Uh, I, I would put, wait, I forgot to say that I put Pennsylvania in B tier. Along, probably actually slightly ahead of Virginia. Um. Hawaii would be B or C tier. I think people do depend on the tourism for their economy at this point in time. That is something that can be addressed with central planning, though. There, there are there are ways that it can be done. Um, that would not cause harm. And if you can do it without causing harm. I think it should happen. And if you can't, I don't know, if you can minimize it enough, um, and like I said, uh, it's not. It's good, but it's not that good. The only reason... I feel like the only reason I cared about Hawaii was because... Like, my grandparents lived there. So, like, they... When we, when, uh, we went, they, like, showed us all around. Um, so, it was this thing that had, like, more of a personal connection than just, oh, waterfall, and oh, car accident because of sand. 
Uh, and, ooh, slavery getting glossed over. Um, but, I mean, that's, that happens in most states, let's be real. Um, then there's Georgia. If we remove politics from Georgia, it's a pretty good state. Uh, I don't consider Stone Mountain's existence to be politics, uh, and that does put it down in the rankings a bit. So I would say it's like a solid, I would say it's like a low C. That being said, Stone Mountain is otherwise, like, pretty cool. If you just ignore the giant mod uh, monument to the Confederacy carved into the side of it that was finished in the 1970s. I went to Northeast Pennsylvania last year, and the food was very good, but the restaurant people seemed a little underlying racist. Like, like more so than, like, in other places? I, 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 I don't catch on to certain levels of, like, I, I, people have to start saying stuff for me to notice that they're being racist. Um, more than what I'm used to? More so than what I'm used to, then, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. It seems like one of those places that would be a little racist. Um. Oh, we were the only not white people there, so. Doesn't mean they were allowed to be rude. You know what, um, in North Carolina, uh, North Carolina is actually where I went to summer camp. And I have a lot of good memories at summer camp. Okay, Fortune 3, uh, we're grabbing that. I will take those bones, I'll take that, I will toss that. I'll take those bones, looting to and impaling. Uh, I will take those templates. Multi-shot, will. So North Carolina, North Carolina is where I went to summer camp. Um, and it's also where I actually went on my first vacation. Like out of state vacation, because like I, I think we went to Colonial Williamsburg for a little vacation um, at one point when I was a kid. I just don't. I don't remember if it came first or second. Um. So far, I have North. I have New Jersey and Florida and F. I honestly don't know enough about Florida outside of its politics to say if it belongs in any other tier. Um, 
North Carolina would be like a C or B. Jersey because of how it is, and Florida because of the weather and gators. Yeah, yeah, the gators are a problem. You know, there's there's actually a bit of an there's actually a major issue with the gators in Florida. Uh, a lot of people who go down to Florida for vacation, at least back in the old days, uh, would bring baby alligators back home. Excuse me. And then those baby alligators would outgrow the bathtub. Um. And then, like, take a leg off or something, and so people would, uh, abandon their partially grown, uh, gators, uh, in, like, the fountain that, but actually, that doesn't even make sense. I've seen that fountain. It's not very big. How do they fit a full-grown alligator in there? Also, I think Jersey gets a bad rap. Just because they've got misinfo. Yeah, well, like, that's what my mom told me years ago. Not saying my mom couldn't have gotten misinfo, but, like... Your mom can't be wrong. No, she can. It just... I'm just confused. How anyone thought that would make sense. Unless it was real. But it doesn't make sense for it to be real at the same time. But then, why else would people believe it? Jersey's roads are very similar to parking lots. So are California's. Yeah, I think Jersey just gets a lot of hate for no good reason. Well, I've never been forced to experience California. Jersey is a different story. So this is just your personal vendetta against New Jersey. Oh, another thing Delaware has going for it is it was the first state. Georgia roads are insane. They're not parking lots. It's like, it's like a speedway. It's like our fucking, it's like NASCAR down there. Um. And then they're like weirdly polite in a parking lot. Like, you'll get a bunch of people like cutting you off in traffic and like almost totaling your car then, like, you'll get stuck in, a, like, a waving-on match against somebody who has the right of way. Upstate Jersey is nice -ish. Yeah, but, like, that's where the rich people live. I would assume. I actually don't know where the rich people in Jersey live. Hydrate. No, upstate NY and NJ are relatively rural. Okay. Rural's nice. I haven't been to New York. 
I would like to go someday. Yeah. Pretty sure the rich people of Jersey, New Jersey live in New York. That is a potentiality. That's not even a joke. Let's see. What other states do I know about? Uh, Tennessee. Never been, but I got a t-shirt when I- my dad got me a t-shirt when he went to Tennessee. Uh... Well over a decade ago. And it still fits. So I think I'm in an ad, but I will assume you're agreeing. Valid choice. Actually, that's not a valid choice. That's that's typically the opposite of what I do. But like this time, it's correct. Ooh, excuse me. Back. So, uh, as I was saying, um, typically I am disagreeing disagreeing with you, but this time I wasn't. You you were right about the rich people of New Jersey living in New York, probably. Uh, Staten Island is an island, not a state. Uh, Tennessee, I have a t-shirt that says Tennessee on it, and I've had it for years. Staten Island is the New Jersey of New York. Yeah. Um, honestly, Tennessee strikes me as a state that would be kind of overhyped. the closest part to New Jersey you have to take a ferry to it it's an island that base that's structurally built on an old on old and what New York City landfills okay actually no, I should be going down this way where someone's got this. Oh, I should actually. A lot of biases against states that have nothing to do with politics. Valid. Like, for example, I hate a lot of states above Maryland, uh, and Maryland itself, simply because they don't have Waffle House. Have you ever been to Waffle House Patent? Do you have iPop? Yeah, but like, can't really do anything with iHop. Some gluten intolerant. It is culture. You're you're gonna. Ha I've heard of Waffle House. If you ever have the opportunity, you should consider going.
Right. Oh no, I can't do it that way because then I won't be able to get back. Yeah. <laughs> So bitch convincing people to like you. Buy stuff now, call me a quitter. Lies with text you'd be a letter. My thoughts are so good. They make really good hash browns. Have you been to Bear Burger? I have not. Nor have I been to In N Out. It's not that good anymore. It's like all natural stuff. You can get bison or elk burger when they can sustainably get them. Otherwise, they're not on the menu. Oh, it's nice. That's that's nice. At least nothing else. I'm just gonna break these by hand. I love that. Yes, I am. Actually, no, wait. Ha. Huh. A loophole. In and Out is very good, but it ironically takes a long time to get a burger. Hmm. I've, I've heard that it's like the sacred burger place of the west coast, but I think that's just because Five Guys hasn't made it over there yet. Like, as soon as Five Guys makes it, the west coast will learn their lesson. Five Guys isn't even on the same tier. It's like two down. Beer Funker, you do know. I'm not Beer Funker. Hey, Tent, you do know. I will fight you. I know, I know, I fucked up, okay? I've seen, I've seen what In-N-Out burgers look like. They look, I don't remember what they look like, but you know what? I've seen how they look and they just visually do not compare to, um, the sense of flavor that you get from, what's it called? It might be, I thought we were comparing the taste. Oh, we are. They just don't look that tasty compared to Five Guys. 
Mark, I won't announce my shade of scent, but hopefully there will be some. Oh, okay. In and Out has a secret menu as well. They can cook. You you can order fries animal style, and they cook them with the burger juice. Well, that just sounds gross. And Five Guys has open things of peanuts, which is really bad for people with peanut allergies, but like, they have open things of peanuts that you can snack on while you wait for your burger. I'm guessing you like your burger chart? Actually, okay, it's called not getting salmonella. That would explain it. You go, fuck you, I don't like my burgers to be like deadly. I don't want to eat a burger and then be like, oh, jeez, this, this, um, oh, this tastes like blood. Medium is not deadly. Well, it's still gross. If it's pink, I don't want it. The fries are supposedly very good, but I don't like fried stuff, including fries. How can you not like fries? I don't know that we can be friends anymore, Patent. If you don't like fried stuff, you're not gonna like uh, Waffle House very much. However, I think... If we could both get drunk, I could get you to appreciate Waffle House. They're fried? You're fried, as in your brain, if you think fries are bad. Also, their fries are really good. I, I would, so Waffle House is good when you're very drunk. Well. It's one of those things that I've heard is very good for drunk food. I've never been inebriated, so I actually wouldn't know, but I do know that it's, um... I feel like the only way I could get you to eat greasy food would be to do that. I'm just going to version a I don't think they're bad, I just don't like fries. How? They're just, they're just so good. Too greasy. Yeah. I don't have a problem with salt, but too much oil and grease. Honestly, like if you're gonna put if you're gonna... There's like, you know, a bunch of ways of like making food. Uh, you can use salt, grease, spices. And my dad is very much like a fats grease man. And I'm very much a salt man. I grew up eating medium well burgers and turkey burgers and I'm glad I'm out of that. I 
So my mom has made a way to make turkey burgers actually taste good. Hmm. Uh, I didn't grow up with turkey burgers. Uh, tur burgers were like the one thing that my dad was like, you know, if we're gonna do red meat, we're gonna do it right. Um, it includes putting stuff that is not turkey in the burger. Yeah, like flavors. I'm actually not a big fan of beef, if I'm being totally honest. Red peppers? Oh, that sounds nice. Put a little extra zing. I hated beef growing up because my mom and dad enjoy things charred. I am very much a... I don't like burn. But I also... But I really... also, But I also dislike pink. Well, they don't, but it ends up that way, but not by accident. So you mean they're aware of the health risks of eating, um, food that's, uh, raw. I did it! I have my tube! My dad is also like that. He doesn't like the... He likes things raw, because that's like how his mom made it. Uh, but he also has... I don't know, anxiety issues about food. So... He, uh... He tries to avoid that. Also, my mom has fears about food being kind of raw, so that helps. I remember one time uh, I was at my grandparents' house, and my nana made steak, and I like was like cutting into a piece of the steak, and like there was just like this red juice coming out of it and it was so gross no my mom cooks it and my dad always thinks it's undercooked even though it isn't so to lessen my dad's concerns my mom cooks things again and i keep my peace during all this and eat my food has your dad not learned of a microwave Is this how helpless men in the 21st century are, that they can't even figure out how to use the microwave to cook their food? Why would you make microwave food right after it's cooked? Well, if it's not cooked enough, that'll cook the rest off. That's what I do, like, if I uh, have, like, a piece of meat... And, like, it's just way too raw, but it's, like, you know, my germs are already on it. I'll pop it in the microwave for, like, a minute or even just 30 seconds. And then, you know, it'll just, it'll dry up and then it won't be so bushy. That's horrible. Loose tenderness in the microwave. And salmonella. 
You gotta oven that. And wait. And also potentially burn it. It's a lot harder to burn things in the microwave. Ha huh, ha huh, as in O oh, or ha huh, as in what? I don't like burn, I just don't like, you know, gross and mishy. After you nuke it, you lose quality and germs. Better to cook it again or oven it. Okay, but I mean, honestly, to me, it doesn't really ruin the taste that much. So, yeah, actually, I don't think I've ever really noticed like a bad taste after decree of after um, microwaving food that was just a little too undercooked. Maybe it's not as quite as good as it could have been, but it's never been, like, bad. There isn't a constant correlation between germs and the amount of time cooking. At a certain point, the germs are not there. Okay, but I also don't like it when there's gushy juices inside my meat. There are so many ways that could be taken. Like, really, I really dislike the juices. So, okay, but you've been talking about germs in my, my, the microwave. Yeah, and when the juices are red, that means there's germs. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Because I said so. This is just us going, nah, uh, yeah, ha, huh, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That wouldn't even make sense. Yes, it does. No, I said, no, we were using logic until you said, because I said so. I feel like it's logical to just lay out exactly how I'm arguing this from patent. I am arguing from the position of I am correct about how food works. That is the logic. I never said it was logical, uh, that's just the logic. List your sources. My sources are me.
I would not cite you in a project. That is wise. I'm not a reliable source. There's germs on your shirt? Yeah, I know. That's how germs work. I'm not that bothered. It's red. But it's not juicy. The juicy red is the problem. Like a pimple. Juicy red. Well, actually, juicy red pimple isn't like that big of a deal. It's just a type of pimple. It just typically hurts a bit. Patent, I will fist fight you in a Waffle House parking lot over this, okay? If there's red juice in the meat, it has germs in it, and will either give you food poisoning or kill you. Yeah, that logic only works with Waffle House meat. Okay, you take that the fuck back. Do not diss Waffle House, or it will come for you in the dead of night. Like, uh, yeah, like, I don't know any monsters that come for you in the middle of the night. I'm gonna give insulted both you and Waffle Hall so I'm that good. It's only possible to insult Waffle House if you've never been. Once you've been, you understand. You'll walk in and walk if you have right over both? No! No, fuck you, man. I'm cool. I'm very cool. I'm just... I'm just really tired, man. That's crazy, man. Yeah, I, I made the mistake of taking my uh, melatonin before stream. We're gonna raid Beer Funger. Nah! Fuck. Alright, guys. I'll probably see you tomorrow. We'll see. Um, I don't know. I don't have anything fun to say. Uh...